Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 3rd of December 1910, the first neon light went on show at the Paris Motor Show. Invented by Frenchman Georges Claude, the first neon lights were simply 35 metre long tubes that glowed red. However, by 1912, he had begun to create advertising signs using the new technology, with the first apparently being sold to a Parisian barber. Claude's neon lighting at the Paris Motor Show was used originally simply to light the front of the large exhibition space at the Grand Palais. Frustrated that the red glow of the light meant that his invention couldn't be used to replace conventional home lighting, Claude was persuaded by his friend and associate Jacques Fonsec to use it for advertising. After the first successful sign was sold to the barber, a large sign for the alcoholic drink Cinzano became the first use of neon to actively advertise a product. Claude patented his invention in 1915, which gave him a virtual monopoly over the production of neon lights for the first few years of their existence. However, it wasn't until he sold the first neon lights to a Los Angeles-based car dealer in 1923 that he really began to take advantage of his creation. The new liquid fire signs, as some people in the United States referred to them, became in some places even more popular than the businesses they were advertising, with signs such as Vegas Vic at Las Vegas's Pioneer Club becoming cultural icons that are still celebrated in the 21st century. Neon lighting is therefore still a popular form of advertising, but it's also made its way into many homes. Not many people realise that the same technology forms the basis of plasma televisions. 